You're watching an alien invasion. And like any good Hollywood alien invasion, sightings were few in the beginning. Then, kaboom, an explosion. Maybe even in your backyard. The alien invader, the lionfish. A beautiful creature for aquarium hobbyists, but a nightmare for fish in the Atlantic and for all of us. To really understand the problem with lionfish and where they came from, we need to go back in time. For that, we head to Hollywood. The year is 1977, the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. Posing as a marine biologist, Bond meets with the villain Carl Stromberg. Bond is then put to the test by having to correctly identify a fish. Turois spotted Other fish avoid it. Those dorsal spines are laden with venom. Handsome but deadly. Stromberg's red lionfish is a favorite of marine aquarists. And as James Bond points out, it's notable for its venomous spines. Beautiful, robust, and a conversation starter. A trifecta for a saltwater hobbyist. In the late 70s and 80s, lionfish were in aquaria up and down the east coast. However, lionfish consume a lot of food and they grow big very fast. Well intentioned hobbyists set their pets free. It's also thought that Hurricane Andrew destroyed a beachside aquarium near Miami, releasing lionfish into the Biscayne Bay in 1992. 